Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the One Sister channel where we talk about everything Fortnite creator related. Today I'm going to be going over the lock device. This is a really cool device for opening doors, unlocking doors, and just everything to do with doors pretty much. So right here I have a little example. This is what the lock device looks like right here. And if I come over to this button, I can click open and unlock. And it will open and unlock the door. Or I can click close and lock. And it will close and lock the door. Just like that. So let's get right into the video. You can find this device in your creative menu in your devices tab and you can just look up lock and when you look that up it should pop up right here. Click place now and you can place it down. Once it's placed down you can go into the device settings and let's check out the first settings. The first one here is initial door position. Do you want the initial door position to be open or closed basically when the game starts? you want it initially open or initially closed? Up to you. I'm going to keep mine unclosed. Next one here, visible during game. Do you want this physical do you want this physical device to be visible during the game? You can make it on or off. I'm gonna turn my on. I'm gonna turn mine on just for the purposes of this tutorial. The next one here is color. You can make the color whatever you want when it's on the door. So up to you. It's just a color preference. Doesn't matter that much. Next one here starts locked. Do you want the door to start locked at the beginning or not to be locked? So locked and unlocked, yes or no. Next one here, hide interaction when unlocked. Do you want it to hide the interaction text that says open or close the door when it's locked? You can have it hide when locked, you can have it not off, or you can have it on. Next, let's head over here, back in here into the functions tab. And these are all the functions. You have unlock when receiving from, lock when receiving from, open when receiving from, close when receiving from, toggle locked when receiving from, toggle open when receiving from. So right here, all these right here, you can just manually unlock, lock, open, and close on a channel. And these two on the bottom here is toggle when locked and toggle when open. So you can toggle if the door is locked with one button or you can toggle if it's open with one button. This device has no events. So let's go right into how to use it. So if we come back here, I have a door already right here. So let's place this door down. Let's take our lock device and let's place it right in the door. As you can see, when I place it down, it's red when it's over here because that means it's not detecting a door. It's not near a door. But when I put it closer to the door, it becomes blue, which means it is detecting a door. So I'm going to put mine right here and see how a little check mark and that means it is close to the door and it will work with the door. The next thing we're going to try to do with a button. So this is where it gets a little more confusing, but we got this. Place now, find your button. Place down your button, make it a little bigger here. And we're gonna place one button and we're gonna place two buttons. So let's go into the settings of the first button. I'm gonna name this button open and unlock. Okay, and we'll go to the other button. We'll name this close and lock. And there we go. So we have our two buttons customized. Oh wait, whoopsie. So we have both of our buttons named. Now let's go over to our lock device and then we go to our functions tab and then we're gonna do unlock and lock. So we're gonna click on the first one, which is unlock. And we're going to unlock right here, open and unlock. Let's click that. And let's go to our next one, which is lock. And then select the lock one. And then we go to the next one. We click open and then click the open one. Go to the next one, click close and go to the close one. Pretty simple. I'm just matching names and stuff. Click OK. And now let's test it. OK, so as you see, we can head over here. We can click our button. It will open the door. And then this one will close the door. So as it starts out closed and locked, so you can't go through it. And then once you open it, it's unlocked and you can freely move around the door any way you want. But as soon as you click this, it's now closed and locked again. You can use this for like security rooms if you want. I use it for like security rooms, vaults, and stuff in my map. So yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. If this video did help you out, leave a like, subscribe. And if you'd like to support me in the Fortnite item shop, you can use code PEEPER. That is P-E-E-P-E-R. Once again, go check out the merch. And that's it for the video. A sister out. Thank you.